How's it going everybody? Oliver here for iInfluence and today I'm going to be answering one of the most commonly asked questions that I get in regards to computer glasses and that is can computer glasses have long-term negative effects on the quality of my vision? Now in order to answer this question properly I do need to define what exactly a set of computer glasses are because as I mentioned in a previous video there is a difference between blue light filtering glasses and computer glasses. And to summarize it, because I spent a whole video talking about these differences, which I'll leave a link in the description below. But to summarize it, there are blue light filtering glasses, a ton of them in different price options and new ones coming out all the time. I can't keep up with them. But these glasses, in most instances, simply filter out blue light or block blue light. They have a blue light filter. They come with an anti-reflective coating. They come in many different frame styles in many different price ranges and like I said they're all over the place new ones coming out all the time and in most cases almost no matter what you pay for them they're all kind of doing the same thing which is really just filtering out blue light now some do it with uh, a more noticeable amber tint some are practically clear and they do a really good job of it but nonetheless they're simply just filtering out blue light computer glasses on the other hand have something that really sets them apart and that is their main purpose, okay? Their main purpose is not to filter out blue light. Computer glasses originally were not meant for that, okay? Now, the terminology is such to where when somebody says computer glasses, we automatically assume, oh, it's filtering out blue light. Oh, it's, it's protecting you from that harmful, high energy visible light that's out there, right? Well, computer glasses really did not start with that purpose. And I want to continue holding it to that definition in that their main purpose is actually to keep you focused at your intermediate range. Whereas blue light glasses simply have a purpose of filtering or blocking blue light. Computer glasses have a main purpose of keeping you focused, okay? Helping to relax your eyes when they're in a converged position, which I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail here, okay? So that is the definition of computer glasses. I'm not focusing on blue light. Okay, I'm focusing on their purpose, which is to help keep you focused. Now, computer glasses, what we take into account, and what I mean by we are opticians, or those of us that make computer glasses, we, we understand really what their purpose is. Okay, and this could be manufacturers such as Gunner Optics and Felix Gray. To the best of my knowledge, they're the only two computer eyewear manufacturers that produce glasses that come with at least some sort of magnification. In Gunner's case, their entire line, their entire collection, with exception to the sunglasses, I believe, but they all come with about a plus 0 0.20 magnification. And in the case of Felix Gray, they also offer their lenses with the plus 0.25, but they also give you the option to order any of their glasses without any prescription. Okay, they're totally transparent about it. You get to choose with or without the magnification. Now that we have everything defined here and kind of set in their place, we got a good foundation here. Let's go back to the question. And I want to present it to you in the way that it is typically presented to me. Let's say we have someone that went to their eye doctor and their doctor said, look, your, your vision is fine. You have 20-20 vision or practically 20-20 vision. You don't need prescription glasses. So that's great, right? They have 20-20 vision. Their doctor said they don't need glasses, but yet, you know what? They're still suffering because they still spend six, seven, eight plus hours in front of a digital device and so they're suffering from digital eye strain, computer vision syndrome, they have blurry vision, dried eyes, difficulty focusing, especially at the end of the day or at the end of the work week when their eyes are really tired, their eye muscles have been stressed to their limit and, and so they, they are trying to find something to alleviate some of that discomfort. And so they go online, they do their research and they look up computer glasses or they look up relief from digital eye strain and they come across a whole bunch of different things. Typically these days, the first thing that pops up are a whole bunch of articles and products that are filtering out blue light, right? There's a whole bunch of stuff on that. Don't wanna to get too much into it because this isn't about blue light. But then they discover products like Gunner Optics or Felix Gray that come with a little bit of magnification that are supposed to help you keep focused. But the question then comes up, if my doctor just finished telling me that I don't need any prescription, and if I decide to go off and buy some of these well-reviewed uh, computer glasses, isn't it gonna possibly make my vision 
worse because I don't need it. So by using it, will it make it worse or possibly maybe not right away, but in the long run, will it make my 2020 vision no longer 2020? Will all of a sudden I go from not needing glasses to needing glasses on a full-time basis? So that's the question. So you could understand the fear that some people have uh, in going into some real true computer glasses. So this is the way that I like to answer the question. I start off by saying no, okay? These computer glasses are not going to make your vision worse, but you may become dependent on them. Much like many people have become dependent on drinking coffee to give them that jolt, that little wake up in the mornings or that they needed in the, in the late afternoons to keep them going, right? And do they need coffee all the time? Probably not, though some people I know will strongly disagree with this statement. But a lot of us, and I include myself in this, will drink a cup of coffee because we want that little jolt, right? Maybe we pushed ourselves late into the night and we need that caffeine running through our system to wake us up. Though I don't need it, a way that I could essentially start filtering out or getting rid of coffee from my daily routine would be to get a little bit more rest and get a bit more sleep. Maybe instead of six hours, push it to eight and I'll wake up in the morning without the need or, or the feeling that I'm dependent on that cup of coffee to get me going, okay? Now, this is just a rough example. I know some people will drink coffee no matter what, even if you get plenty of sleep, but nonetheless, a lot of people will use it for that reason. They'll use it as something to compensate for other areas where they maybe push themselves too far, right? So you are gonna get that jolt of energy from your coffee, whereas you probably could have got that extended energy if you would have slept better and, and do other things that you could do to gain that energy back, okay? So coffee has become something that we use to compensate for that. Computer glasses do much of the same thing. They're out here and they exist because people are not taking good care of their eyes. And a lot of people are pushing their eyes to the limit. You could avoid the use of that magnification of that prescription to help to keep you focused but how willing are you to make the changes, right? How willing are you and I to take breaks every 20 minutes to rest our eyes, right? The 20, 20, 20 rule. For every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break, close your eyes, take long blinks, and when you can, focus on something that's more than 20 feet away. That's gonna help to refresh and reinvigorate your eyes. But how many of us are willing to do that? For the most part, for the reason why coffee is still the number one sold commodity around the world is that people like to compensate for it. They like that burst of energy that they get from their coffee. And that's why they're willing to pay $5 a cup in most cases, right? At least here in the United States, that is. With computer glasses, I love them. I love the product. They really do help. The magnification that's in Gunner lenses and that you could find in Felix Gray, they're fantastic. Or you could even make a custom set from your doctor's office or an independent optician. But do you need it? No, you don't need it. If you change your habits, you could probably get away with not using computer glasses. But the truth is most of us push our eyes. We stress them out. We fatigue our eye muscles. And so here come computer glasses to the rescue, right? Where they're gonna help to keep you focused in that intermediate range. Because as I mentioned in the other video, which I encourage you to watch, what they do is that they decenter the optical center of the lens, okay? So whenever there is a prescription lens, they have what's called an optical center. Or in other words, the most accurate part of the lens, the, the area of the lens that your eyes are gonna be drawn to. And typically with prescription lenses, an optician would measure the distance between your eyes, that's called your pupillary distance or your PD. And there's two, there's a far PD, and that far PD is when your eyes are just relaxed, like when you're looking straight. And the far PD is when your eyes are just in their resting position. The muscles surrounding the eyes are in their resting position, like a default place, okay? They're not having to work extra hard to keep them there. And then they have what's called a near PD. Our near PD is because our eyes tend to converge a little bit when we're looking at something that's in the intermediate to near range, okay? So let's say between 24 inches on in, our eyes come together. And when we bring the optical center, instead of being right in front of our far PD, we bring them in to our near PD. It helps to encourage our eyes to stay in that position. And that's what computer glasses are doing. These manufacturers, uh, like Gunner Optics, they have this 
you know, this mathematical equation that they say, you know, this is the typical pupillary distance of the wear of this particular size frame. This is where their pupil should be sitting. Let's decenter it a little bit. Now, they haven't admitted to this. This is something that I discovered, and you could watch that video. But they decenter it. That's the only logic behind the way that their uh, optical center is placed on some of these glasses. So it's decentered a little bit, but it's done to help encourage your eyes to stay in that place. And so you don't necessarily need it, but you know what? A lot of people are going to keep pushing their eyes, and so they're going to become dependent on it. Much like people are dependent on coffee to give them that jolt of energy. People are going to become dependent on those computer glasses to help their eyes feel relaxed. And if you were to start going, let's say, a month wearing those computer glasses, and if you could tolerate that magnification, and I say that because it's not for everyone, if you could tolerate that magnification and you apply it into your daily routine, you may find that it alleviates a lot of the symptoms from digital eye strain. You may find like your eyes aren't as tired, as fatigued, that you're, you're going to have better focus throughout the course of your workday, but you're going to become a little bit dependent on it because it has a little bit of magnification. It's giving you a little bit of help. And if you were to wear it for a month and then say, you know what, I'm going to stop wearing it. Let's say you misplace it, you lose it. Then all of a sudden you're going to feel like your vision got worse when really it didn't. It's just that you became dependent on it, right? But if you give it time, your eyes should go back to normal the way that they were before you started using those computer glasses. Much like if somebody were to detox and you know start kicking that caffeine out of their life, their body would naturally start recovering the natural energy from different sources. You could do it. You don't have to get it only from caffeine, right? But the thing is, how many of us want to find those alternatives? How many of us want to make those changes? And that's the real question here because the problem isn't in the digital devices, it's in our way of using those digital devices. We just overuse it. So before I get too far into preaching about you know cutting back on digital devices, I want to end this video by saying this. No, your vision will not uh, suffer long term by wearing computer glasses. You could get them with the blue light filter, you could get it with the anti-reflective coating. Uh, Gunner and Felix Gray make great products. Uh, I really hope that there's more products out there that are covering that particular area. Um, there's really just two market leaders right now. I know it's more expensive to produce those. That's why they typically cost more. But hey, it's because it costs more to make those lenses that way. But now you have a choice. You could get a set of computer glasses and they will help. They really will help. I've, I've tried them. I tried the Gunners. I tried the Felix Gray. I'm a fan of both. I wear glasses on a full-time basis. So I know what it feels like to wear computer glasses throughout the course of your day, and I could vouch for it. They work, but you also have a choice. You and I do. We have a choice to cut back and maybe allow our eyes to rest and reduce the symptoms of digital eye strain by doing that. Or you could help to compensate for our lack of discipline, uh, you know, and our lack of taking breaks. And you could invest in a set of computer glasses and help to alleviate some of that discomfort, some of that stress and strain that we're putting on our eyes. I cannot say, yes, you definitely have to get those over simple blue light filtering glasses, which they have their place, but that's for another video. I left it in the, in the description below, check it out. So I hope I made that easy to understand. I know it could be a little bit confusing, especially for those of you that have really good vision that haven't experienced a set of prescription glasses in the past. Uh, but for those of you that do wear glasses and maybe let's say from time to time you wear contacts, and you want to wear these computer glasses over them, it's perfectly fine. You're going to get the same effect as somebody that has 20-20 vision, right? And for those of you that are like myself, you, you wear glasses and you don't wear contacts, I say, you could still have a set of computer glasses made because instead of using your far PD for your glasses, you could have them made with your near PD. Talk to your doctor, talk to your optician, see what your options are, but uh, computer glasses are great. It's an awesome way to go. Let's just face the reality. These digital devices are here to stay. Um, and if we're not willing to make the changes to allow our eyes to rest, the, the best thing that you could do in the meantime, okay, just while you try to establish good uh, eye care habits, is you could use a set of computer glasses to help alleviate some of those um, digital eye strain symptoms. Okay? Not saying it's going to completely remove it or it's going to be gone magically the moment you put them on, but it will help. Combine that with good habits, 
in front of those digital devices and I'm sure you're going to see great progress. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I explained it and made it easy to understand. But if you have any questions at all, please leave it in the comments section below. And if you haven't done so already, you should consider subscribing. On this channel, we give lots of information that are going to help you take care of the health of your eyes and the quality of your vision. Once again, I am Oliver for iInfluence. Thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your day.